Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States, episode number 42 or 43. I actually don't remember. Anyways, here we are back. We just completed that war. A few people have commented that it seems like I didn't get a very fair uh, settlement, considering I was up with, I don't know, like hundreds of thousands of victory points. But uh, we only got the four points. It's pretty typical, especially... I, I kind of abstracted as the British being such a dominant world empire that their diplomats, their diplomatic pull is just greater. They just have a pretty... Uh, I don't know, they just have an ability to wiggle out of wiggle out these peace agreements that are favorable for them, so not favorable not favorable for us. Okay, uh in other news, we have our six inch guns, so it's time to refit some things. I originally was thinking, oh my gosh, it would be great if we could increase the number of guns per turret while we do these things, but it turns out you cannot refit turrets into anything but single mounts. So if, any, if it's anything other than um, a single mount, the only thing you can do is convert it to a single mount. Now you can definitely keep whatever it was the way it is, so our Ticonderogas can stay as double turrets when we refit them with uh, better guns. We don't have to worry about switching this, it's still fine. But um, we can't upgrade any other turrets. I mean, it would be wonderful. Like, for example, if we could get quadruple turrets on this thing while we did this, oops, we would be saving 208 space even after Advanced Director, which would be nice for adding this, but we can't do that. So, I think the Philippines class is actually still, whoops, uh, there's a moth I'm going to kill in a second. It's probably gonna make a lot of noise if I clap my hands. Maybe I'll let it go for now. Um, yeah, so there is a, there, there was some mumblings about maybe I should just cancel the, uh, just scrap the Philippines class. And I actually think this is still a very viable ship at 14 inch guns, 14 inch quality one guns. So this moth, uh, um, they're 14 inch guns. This is what the lightning class is using. And I don't plan to scrap those ships either. We have two good sets of battle cruisers, And I think that everything Philippines and beyond is a decent battleship. So with the dreadnought, this dreadnought is, it still has an 11 gun broadside and potentially at certain points, a 13 gun broadside. So 11 is what I, my t uh, democracy has, the ultimate ship. Now the difference in gun caliber is pretty significant, but these have sloped, uh, I mean, there's lots of little disadvantages of the Philippines class, but it still is better than most of the other dreadnoughts we're going to come across. And for that reason, I think it's perfectly fine to put this ship in the Philippines itself. Just let it live by its namesake. So that's what I plan to do. Now, with Advanced Director, uh, we can't really get more ammunition. One thing I was thinking to do, though, is put replace the under the submerged mounts because of their tendency for flooding, and instead replace those with, I have to do some weird thing here, H and I, I think it's gonna be like, well, because of the cross deck fire, those positions are actually eliminated from use. Okay, so it's gonna be decrease, decrease. There we go, perfect. Director on that, I think this is all set, it is. So this is the new Philippines class. It's, it's, only, it's gonna still take two million to replace. I think most of that is because of the advanced director and replacing the secondaries. Since this thing only has, I mean, this is another thing we could do is increase the number of secondaries now that they're firing quality one six inch guns. But I think that that would come at the cost of, like how much is it? 123 would, certainly would come at the cost of either the torpedoes, which I don't want to do, or it would come at the cost of um, ammunition, which I don't want to go any lower for. Because 14-inch uh, guns actually have a faster rate of fire than the 15, 16, 17, and 18, so 110 might even be a little bit on the low side. But it also, I guess it shows you really that I think real battleships, real dreadnoughts didn't carry, I mean, dreadnoughts of this time period, well... 1930s, I don't know exactly. <laughs> I don't know exactly what um, what ships carried during this period because there wasn't a war. <laughs> but 
But at during the end of World War One, at least, or the dreadnoughts of World War One, I, I think they carried more like ninety rounds per gun. The larger caliber guns. So we're way over that. And I think Frederick, the designer of this game, has even commented that he should increase the penalty for storing more rounds per gun. He's probably seen that I, among other, or just other people, have done this, and he dislikes it. So, anyways, let's save the Philippines class, and we'll rebuild her. And... I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money for that, because... Um, Essentially, oh yeah, I lost my train of thought. Oh, it, it's a short amount of time. Four months. It's expensive, but only for four months. After four months, we put him back on reserve, and we should be fine. So the other important thing to do is the Galvestons, I think, or the Great Lakes. And probably the Galvestons first, because they're obsolete already. So let's look at these. Uh... 3, 250, 4, 900. So that's pretty significant, the build cost. We also want an advanced director, though, so I think it's worth it. Now, this ship, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to adjust the rounds per gun. I don't really know if our 4-inch guns are that necessary. Actually, maybe not, because what, what we can see is... Destroyers are already taking more than 4-inch guns to sink. So we might even just get rid of this, but what would, we, what would we do with the extra weight? We'd have to replace machinery. It's already oil firing. This would re require a very serious overhaul. Really, really, really expensive upgrade, I think. It's not necessary, but I think dropping the number of 4-inch guns per side by 1, <laughs> so 2 total, is worth it for the extra lots of rounds per gun. We could also put these, put more torpedoes. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. What if we did two? Should be 42 per, which is 80. We'd have to get rid of a submerged mount to do this. We might want to get rid of some submerged mounts and just do more torpedoes so that this thing barely goes faster than the speed you need to fire submerged, which is 25 or less. So from this standpoint, the submerged ones are fine, but the flooding that you know you take when your submerged mounts are destroyed, that's always bad. So there's this whole back and forth we can do. Um, I guess we could put these in turrets as well. Is that going to cost a lot of money? It is. Okay, this is the Galveston class. It is a secondary ship. Let's close and just redesign in a very, very simple way. Upgrade the guns, which is already going to be very expensive. Upgrade central firing. And then dropping this should be fine. Doesn't increase the cost. And we can actually go up more rounds per gun. Not that we need it, but that's fine. Actually, thinking about it, I think we're fine to do it this way. And the reason I say that is because these things probably won't be getting in a fight where they need to use more than this amount of rounds per gun. But maybe that's not true. I don't know. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, so that's the Galveston. We can probably do one more. We don't need to do the Grand Rapids, thankfully they're 8 inch guns. So, what else do we need to do though? Um, I mean, all, obviously we're going to have to cycle the capital ships, but with tensions this high, let's, let's keep the number we're doing at a time to a small amount. We can actually get these ships here to go to reserve fleet as well. And I probably have to put a cut in here. One second. Well, I quite apologize for that. Um, I know if I had background music in my videos, I wouldn't 
suffer from this kind of problem, but <laughs> I don't know. It's just not something I've done and I'd have to do video editing or, you know, manage music at the same time I'm recording. Seems like more trouble than it's worth. Okay, so now moving on, what were we doing? I was talking about how we have retrofit the Galvestons, but we didn't refit yet the Great Lakes, even though they will also need to be upgraded. And then we'll get to uh, some of the bigger ships soon. We have the Mount Rainiers, which actually might be the next target. Um, we might do that. We might just go oldest to newest um, in terms of their build date. So, yeah, I think that makes sense to me. Um, most of our ships are on are in the East Coast. I think that's okay. The Invader class, I'm going to move to the West Coast. I don't think she's going to be useful anywhere but in the Asian theater, the Pacific theater, I should say. So that's why I'm, I'm just going to set her up there. And who else should we consider? Oh, yes, we also should do reserve fleet. Oh, we can't do reserve fleet for these. Okay, that's fine. But everyone else is warming up, mothballed, or reserve fleet. Besides the ones I'm just moving. Okay, let's, let's do this then. We're, we are pretty close to war, and I hope it's with Germany, but, you know, there's, there's a chance it could be with, uh, well, really, I guess the only people I want to go to war with is Germany, so I'll, I'll <laughs> lower my espionage with everyone except for Germany. Hopefully that'll control tensions a bit. It's the only knob we can really turn besides pop-ups to control who we go to war with, so, so I'll try to take advantage of it. Excuse me. Okay, good. I want to do another experiment real fast. I want to look at what happens if we were to consider building another light cruiser. Mm, such a ship will probably be attacked from range a lot, so let's get the deck up a bit. I don't really care about the conning tower. I think that even six inch guns will penetrate four inches of armor no problem. It appears to be the case. So the conning tower is kind of useless. I'll work my way around it at the end. I don't mind this being a slightly more, uh, a slightly heavier ship. You can see that it defaults me to 140 rounds per gun, so that's kind of reassuring. Let's go for, oh, no, not, no, increase twice, sorry. Increase, increase. We don't want any 3-inch guns. So this is 5. We might as well get as many as we can. And this is good. Mm, medium. Okay, now pretty much we've built the ship. <laughs> it's probably... Oh, gosh, no. Oh, my heavens. No. Okay, so we're up to 6,800. I don't think we need the mines. Maybe 6,700. Mines I kind of would treat as ammunition. Okay, so let's let's go up by one. Let's increase ammunition a bit, and then mines a bit. Yeah, I think this is the best thing to do. Let's go up to 160, and we can only do 30 for mines, so then we can just increase conning tower, I guess? Or how much is it to go to belt 2.5? I think that might even be worth it. Even at the risk of... Right. I think we can do this. We might drop these two back down by one. Drop the conning tower again to 3.5. I'm okay with that. And now we have our ship. Yeah, that, that seems to fit perfectly for me. I think that this is fine, 160 rounds per gun. Let's make sure all or nothing. Let's go through all the bells and whistles, make sure we got what we want. I really like belt of 2.5 on the light cruisers. That's usually what they're getting hit, uh, where they're getting hit. Because they do, you know, go close enough. They 
try to ward off either other light cruisers or destroyers. So for both of these things, you're usually close enough that you're not arcing. You're not using arcing fire. So yeah, you can see arcing fire is at least 12,000, and we have 15,000 is our max range, so we'll probably be closer than that a lot of the time. I like it. So it's only five torpedoes per side, but I mean, that's also not too shabby. If we were to go up to 7,000, we might. We could increase that. What's the cost difference? Let's look at 21, 1400. 21 at 1400. 21 at 1400. I should have done the total cost. That was kind of stupid. So it's, it's such a minor effect, and these will be better for it. I'd say. But perfect. Just perfect. Okay, so good. The Chicago will be 7,000 tons. Quite a heavy ship. We'll max her out on mines. We'll do all these things. Um, yeah, this will be the final iteration of our cruisers. I have to say, I still do... Ah, the name. Of course, the name. Well, we have the Portland class. Do I have a ship called the Portland? Would it would it let me search by P? Probably be a light cruiser, right? Portland, 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 Portland. I don't see one. Do we lose a Portland at some point? Salt Lake City is, <laughs> yeah. Very common, Baltimore, San Francisco. No, it doesn't look like we lost a Portland. Okay, so this will be the Portland class. Um, I forgot who suggested this. I think it was originally for a battle cruiser or an armored cruiser, but I do want to still reward your choice. So let's open that design. Let's open the Chicago. But now let's actually save it as the Portland. Okay, which is a good name for uh, a cruiser. I like cruiser. And we have a few people. This the Flagstaff was the next runner-up for a uh, cruiser, so that'll probably be the first ship off the line. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything else. I think it looks okay. Okay, so let's save and let's build the Portland. Get one Portland class. And then we'll build um, Flagstaff, and then we'll build the Indianapolis, which is also a very fitting name. Do we have an Indianapolis already? I guess it would tell us if we did. We didn't lose one or anything? No, I guess not. Okay, good. So that's, um, that's nice. We're making some progress in the ship naming list. <laughs> and I, I think we'll be happy to get those few extra light cruisers. We did lose a few in the last war. Now we'll be up to 25 total, which is still more than any other nation. It didn't cost too much to get those. Puts us at, put us at an even budget. Okay, let's advance. Ah, that's beautiful. That's going to be a lot of budget. Taking, getting some more democracy class ships finished. The new German Minesweeper, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I wouldn't be impressed by any Minesweeper. They're all just Minesweepers. Who cares? Uh, so the money we're saving because of the democracy ones that finished, I guess we'll just immediately replace that with a couple more Portland class. Next one we have is the Cottonwood and the Shasta. So those two, my next two. I'll just type this one. Very good. It's a little bit late at night, so that's why I'm kind of whispering or like whisper talking. Oh my gosh, of course, pff, I'm stupid. We should be resuming the construction of these first. This one still still remained at 27, so we didn't we still got the 10% bonus. Yeah, and then these will be finishing soon enough that our monthly balance shouldn't be negative for very long. And those are finishing up their work up process, which is nice. 
I, I thought that that was a Japanese spy thing, but I must have misread, and it was a British one, because the British attention is the one that changed. Anyway, does that mean the lightnings have to be refit again? No, they already had their 5-inch guns. That's good. And Yosemite's are already done as well, 1932. Makes sense. So... Grand Rapids are done. Great Lakes have to be redone. How are we looking? Well, it's one month for the Galvestons. Let's just jump with the Great Lakes to get them back as soon as possible. No point in waiting. Yeah, so the next ones are going to have eight. Oh, I'm a stupid, stupid person. Well, let's go to the Portland class. How much of a difference would it make? Delete this. Add this. 20. Yeah, stupid. Pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. Oh well, we live with our mistakes. You can make that kind of mistake as the United States, but that's a otherwise very foolish mistakes. Okay, I I just always think that you should use AF super line, AF center line superimposed or AF center line super firing, the one that's built on top of the existing superstructure. But yeah, maybe aesthetically, it's not that appealing. I don't know. I'm still not disappointed, but I just it's one thing that's <laughs> did not get caught in the net of my attention, <laughs> of my going over this, you know, second guessing all the little details. I missed that one and. You know, it cost us 20 tons, which could have been some extra rounds, maybe 100 tons lighter. I mean, I don't think it would have changed much. It's basically just the cost. So I'm okay with it. Um, I lost my train of thought now. Uh, we're going to do refits on the Great Lakes. That's right. Yeah, I got that it was triggered by the fact that I didn't use super firing here. I used super firing up here, and then I immediately was like, oh, gosh. I didn't do that on the other one. So these Great Lakes class are still really, really a good ship. Now, this is going to be a little bit troublesome. It did not save us any, but we still need to get to Advanced Director somehow. We can either lower our torpedoes. No, we're just going to lower one round per gun. There's just like no other place we can get a benefit. So yeah, <laughs> because lowering the torpedoes would lower it by like 50. That's way too low. So this will just be a little bit of risky. And the Great Lakes, it's a fleet ship. If it was not, if it was a solo fighter, I would want it to have more rounds per gun. But fleet ships, they're going to get help against any light cruisers from our, our capital ships. So they're mostly there to sink... Um, destroyers, and they do not need that much ammunition to sink destroyers. And it's also nice for them to have more torpedoes in those fleet battles. So this is definitely, the Great Lakes is maybe even more of a fleet ship than the Portland. Okay, so let's save this. Double checking. Make sure I didn't miss something else. Okay. Actually, um, this is interesting. I, I just, just thought about this. Okay, so it's 635 to do just a normal refit. It's 2700 to do that. How much is it to redo? Uh-huh. We cannot because the extra turret, the extra gun, can I decrease this? Interesting. I am actually completely unsure of why this is costing more. This is seven guns. It has eight guns normally. What? Oh, of course. Double turrets cannot be gun mounts. My single turret configuration is a gun mount, so it's cheaper, and that's why using I'm using two inches of armor on the turret. 
but it, that's because it's a shielded gun mount. It's not a full armored turret. But if I go to 2.5 or if I go to double, they're no longer um, they're actual full turrets. So the fact that I can almost get full turrets um, for the same broadside, it's nice, but I couldn't do it, so I guess we just can't do that. And that means I should have gone with 2.5 inches on the Portland. Okay, I'm, I'm just cap, just, it's a little bit late, it's just nearly midnight here. My brain's obviously starting to shut down, I'm making a lot of stupid mistakes. We'll have to live with them. But, then this has got to be the final form for the Great Lakes. So we'll do it this way. She's still fast, 29. Um, I hope that this doesn't ruin her little extra speed. And we'll do that. Okay, good. So that's all the light cruisers refit and a few more being built. Do we have enough destroyers? Well, the destroyer count is a little inflated by these invader classes, which are not true destroyers. We have 51 of those. So if you take out 51, we're still way more than second place, which is 34. <laughs> Or 33 so we have a lot of destroyers that's probably partly because I'd never scrapped some of my older ones we have 18 here I mean the oh that is confusing that we have Cunningham's both above and below the invaders it's confusing very confusing but I guess I built these Cunningham's after these invaders I, th I think that's what happened yeah I just never got rid of these New Havens these Bennies these Farraguts I think I ought to. They're pretty much useless. At least the Farraguts are. I would say that they're not even worth... Um, let's see, Cunningham is 13,500. This is not quite half. Slightly over. It has five torpedoes versus ten. It has two four-inch guns versus... Yeah, I'm going to scrap the Farragut. It served us well. It survived since 1908, apparently. But it's time, especially because it's short range. Yeah, it's just time for this one to be retired. Good. The Bennies, I think I'm going to keep around just because I, uh, I'm i honoring my uh, <laughs> promise that gunboats or... Uh, gunboat DDs would be in this one, gunboat, gunboat destroyers. I have to say I'm kind of confirming to myself the fact that these are not very useful. Just the de knowing the destroyer versus destroyer battles are worth so few victory points. It's okay if you have things like the New Haven, which only have two 4-inch guns, even though they lose any destroyer engagements they get in. Most of the time, you won't have them in just destroyer one-on-one -on -one engagements, so... That's my justification there. Philippines class finished, I think. Hmm. I'm actually not sure if there's any research we haven't done yet. So what I'm going to do is just put everything on medium, and if anybody knows the exact limit of all these things, just please let me know. Everything's going to medium until I know what I can actually still benefit from. Like naval guns, ah, uh, naval guns I can still benefit from 17 quality one, and that would be great for the final battle cruiser. But other than that, once I get those, I can just turn off that, put it on low. Huh. Okay. This might cost prestige. Ah, it's a budget. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Okay, the... the, the I'm a man of my word. Oops. This goes down to low, if it'll let me. There it goes. Yeah, I think machinery could still be good. I don't think that there's anything left in machinery to research. Definitely 
explosive shells I'll put on high because that and AP as well. These could both definitely lead to some benefits. Torpedoes as well, let's put those on high. VSW, let's put that on high. Um, I think we're done with ship design and we're probably done with the armor development, the hull development. Even though armor is only at 14, that seems a bit low, but okay. Anyways, just do a little bit of research management. Now, the thing I was thinking is like, I'll probably turn down the research money, but it, you know what? It's not even that much. 10% <laughs> is still only, you know, 10% is still only 7.6. So uh, the best I could do is drop it to 5%, which saves us 3.8. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, 3.8. And 3.8 million is just... If we get any benefit from that research, it feels like it's more worth the money than anything else, so. Okay. We also have to remember that we have ships mothballed and we have some in reserve fleet, so. We should be a little bit careful about spending too much when the war comes, I think our budget will go up with the tensions, but a lot of the ships that we have, I mean, the maintenance that we're paying, 18 million, this is probably much less than it will be as soon as everyone's on active fleet. Okay, this is the uh, Hanover Elsa, Elsass class. Oh, this is basically exactly like my von Steuben. How ironic that my name, von Steuben, is very German sounding, and now the ship classes look identical. 613, they have 611. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, we should have them then. Oh, we don't have improved quadruple turrets? Okay. Immediately. Research on turrets. Hi. Oh my gosh. Wait. What? Did I read that correctly? I thought it said we have trouble developing it, but we already have it. That is very confusing. I will put it on high just to assuage any possible uh, fear that we don't have it. And then I will push on. What kind of ships do we still have here? Well, we definitely have enough democracy class ships. The fact that we have those 17, the quality one 17 inch guns means that the next thing we need to build is the big battle cruiser. And we did lose the potent terrapin and somebody had a clever name for um, the final battle cruiser, which I normally do sneak my name somewhere in there, the Tortuga class or something. It's supposed to be the Mars class, but as we know, the Mars class is actually a British name. I haven't been strict about forbidding British names for the US Navy. So I really don't know. I think I might switch the Mars to an actual battle cruiser of the class, and I might make the class the Terrapin Maximus, the big turtle, the great turtle. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> And people would probably just call it the Terrapin class, but it's the Turtle class. Uh, it's, I'll float that idea out in my head for a bit. Okay, we got another one back. It's good. Okay, yeah, I, I got to do the refits. So let's work on the Tycho's first. Okay. And Advanced Director. And... Do I want to get rid of their submerged mounts for surface mounts? I think so. They might even be able to get three per side? Yeah, okay, that's great. So we just have one pair of triple launchers. Okay, well, let's add them HI instead, just so it looks better. Okay, good, I like it. And most of the times you only have one chance to launch your torpedoes, so it's even though this is uh, it's about the same weight, a slightly more weight than the two submerged mounts we had, 
but there's two benefits as I see it. One, the ability to launch all three torpedoes at the same time versus just two, or one and then one, one minute apart. We're not usually gonna use the reload capability. 16 inch guns are probably enough of a torpedo by themselves, really. They're so powerful that we don't really need the, uh, the extra reloaded torpedoes anyway. This is like a firing a spread. Increases our chance to hit um, although it decreases our number of rounds we can fire, but I, I still, I just really like it. And then the other thing which I've mentioned several times is not having this flooding from losing a submerged torpedo mount. So for all those reasons, I like this better. Okay, good. So that's going to be a save and a done, right? I think so. Nice that we have torpedo defense four on this. Oh, and director for secondary is perfect. Ah, this is a great, the Tycos are going to be much improved, like, much improved. It's, you know, relatively expensive, but now you guys need Advanced Director, you do. And you need better quality 13-inch guns. I think we'll just do it. The Mount Rainier has served us well so far. I'll probably keep her around. This and the Philippines will probably be in the Southeast Asia holding. You know what, the Fon Stoyman, I just think, I just don't know if she's going to stick around. I think I might just scrap her. She's a liability. We're going to scrap her. I've made up my mind. I should have made it up earlier, but just discover, just really got this resolved right now. Okay, so same story with you. We'll pay for the better guns because there's only three of these ships anyways. We'll clear their submerged mounts. And do the same thing. We can actually get quadruples on this if we wanted. No, can't. That's fine anyway. Uh, director, advanced director, 130, 13 inch guns, blah, 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 blah. Everything looks good. So these are still potent, I think. Unfortunately, zero torpedo defense, which is horrible. Yeah, I'm actually second guessing myself here. Oh, okay, that's horrifying. H I I guess. There we go. Oh, because again it's cross deck fire. Okay. But this is six. Ah, I got the hot. This, this episode, man. Where where am I even going? How is this is so unprofessional? <laughs> I can't decide whether I want to do the Mount Rainier or not. It's gonna be quite expensive. Her 13 inch guns, her size, her speed, a lot of things about her make her a better target for scrapping than I'm gonna just leave her I'm gonna think about it yeah she's mothballed so I, I have this sense already I can tell that she's not extremely useful we're gonna scrap the von, St the von Steuben she served us well but that's that we lost one of them there, she's a liability out you go the Philippines class will take care of Southeast Asia yeah, it should be with the Mount Rainier, which means the Mount Rainier probably should refit her. Ah. The Lightning class... Yeah, see, the Lightning class has to stay home when the Yosemites venture out with the democracies. And actually, the Ticonderogas are quite capable of going with the democracies. <sighs> okay. Starting to piece this together. We have we have plenty of dreadnoughts. We need more battle cruisers. I think that that's not necessarily true. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, this is so we to match Germany since Germany is now the main target. To match Germany, we have to get more battle cruisers. More, not less, which means don't scrap the Mount Rainiers. I'm stuck in a loop here. I want to get more battle cruisers with the quality 117 inch guns. It's going to be amazing. But at the same time, I need the high enough numbers, and scrapping three of these is it going to make a big difference. Is it going to be enough money? Could I use these? Would they be just a liability? So many questions. And we have all our other ships back. Everyone's back. We have enough Cunninghams because we do we did build more. I really like those destroyers. That, that's really the end game destroyer for me, and I'm quite happy that I didn't build another one. 
probably too many democracies. We did get that special order for one additional one. Yeah, I think I am going to scrap this one, and then I'll send Lightnings to do their work instead. I'm going to scrap the Mountain Rainiers, which is... Because they, I, I guess, they will be a liability. 8 to 10, 13 inch guns. I had very low armor. What are the light, lightnings at? This is 9, 2 and a half, 11. 9 and a half, 3, 12. Is that the same? I know I adjusted something. But 9 and a half, 3, 12, yeah. They're just better. Okay, scrap. A lot of, um, a lot of removal of some excess ships in this episode. So in the next one, I'll be calling this one to a close here, but for the next one, we'll be designing a new battle cruiser, which is exciting. I'm not going to use this configuration, I'll tell you that much. But what will I use? It's a... It's a fun question to start to think about already. And I will be using the 17 inch guns. These are, in fact, the best guns in the game. Quality 1 17 inch guns. They are the best guns in the game. So, 28 is probably going to be fine. I'm already in my mind designing this. 10, 4. Okay, there's about Conning Tower. Could put it to 10 as well. Turrets, the only thing we really care about. I would say 14, four and a half, two. Look, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I am. Let's check a look at this, 3,500, 3,200. Such a minor difference, torpedo defense four is like mandatory. We'll be using, uh, well, we can use like quads, something crazy. How much of a difference is it, quads or triples? 32, 35, 32, 35. It's really not that much. Let's use three guns per. And that means that we need 18. This should be the right number. Perfect. I like this. I really, really, really like this. <laughs> we're just, we're already committing. Clear these mounts. Um, I could go to 24, which would be the next amount. But this is a battle cruiser. But if it was that high, okay, let's spare no expense on this guy. Uh, okay, okay, I have to stop, I have to stop. <laughs> Could we go to 11? 17. Increase, increase. Increase. Aft. Triple. Oh my gosh. I mean, it, it would look better like this, right? Nine 17 inch guns. Okay, 43, 43 versus 4,000 for the extra guns. Gosh, you know what? I think I like that. And then it gives us a place to put a pair of, oops, HI instead of G, HI, HA. A pair of quad launchers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, so we could do something like this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, superimposed, we're way overweight now, but if we take everything down. Oh, we're getting close. I mean, we, we could make this work. I like this um, configuration because this means that the battlecruiser herself has enough secondaries to take care of anything which gets close. She doesn't need screens so much. But at the same time, we have screens, so we don't need to do that. We don't need to. And now I'll use the FG as well uh, instead. Okay, anyways, going to stop here stop designing <laughs> i'll just save this as temp 
and we'll get going with this in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the somewhat scattered, scatterbrained episode. Hopefully I'll be in a better shape for the next one, but but we're definitely going to war with Germany soon, and we need to get building this battle cruiser for it to be ready in time for war. That said, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.